In this Rage 2 Tips and Tricks video, I'm going to share with you 10 different tips that are going to enable you to experience Rage 2 in all its glory. Hey guys, this is Chris with BNB Gaming. Welcome back and I hope you're doing amazing today. Thank you for taking the time to check out this video and thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments. Definitely appreciate it. So my first tip is to play Rage 2 on hard or higher difficulty. So Nightmare, Ultra Nightmare, or whatever <laughs> whatever you feel up to. The reason I recommend this is that Rage 2 was designed to be an open world game where the majority of the game, the majority of what you're going to experience in Rage 2 is in the open world. And one big mistake that id Software made with Rage 2 is they made it way too easy on obviously easy and normal, where a lot of players play this game and it's easy to get over leveled and there's not much challenge to the game. And where Rage 2 really shines is on the higher difficulties where you're forced to use overdrive and combo your different nanotrite abilities and weapons etc. And playing it on a higher difficulty again is going to make you explore the different parts of the world, make you do a lot of the different side missions find out all these different combinations of skills, weapons, etc. that are going to allow you to really enjoy the gameplay in Rage 2. Tip number two, max out your constitution right away. It's going to allow you to take less damage and have a higher health pool, which in Rage 2 will allow you to be much more aggressive in combat, which feeds into your overdrive and allows you to get that much more quicker in overdrive, of course, you regenerate health, and it just feeds into the loop that allows you to just go crazy in this game, and it's a lot of fun. Now, to level up your constitution, you're going to need Feltrite, and you can find this from meteors and also from chests from exploring around the world. And a side tip I have for you to get more Feltrite is you can actually purchase a progress booster from the Wasteland Wizard, which will increase the amount of Feltrite you receive from each chest. Now, the Wasteland Wizard moves around the map a little bit, but most of the time you can find them in this location below Wellspring. Tip number three, use wing sticks. Rage 2 really, really, really wants you to use wing sticks. And on higher difficulties, they're actually essential, at least at the beginning, because the enemies have more health and definitely have a lot more armor. The nice thing about wing sticks, you'll either kill them with it or you'll knock off their helmets, which will allow you to get faster headshots. Now you're probably wondering how can you get more wing sticks, you know, because you do run out of them. You actually can buy them at most of the merchants, and you can actually craft them by buying wing stick schematics. In addition, you can also upgrade your wing stick carrying capacity in the project skills. Tip number four, upgrade your project skills that allow you to find chests more easily. Now finding chests in Rage 2 are the key to getting a bunch of cash, feltrite, and other upgrade materials. Now in addition, upgrading your nanotrite ability focus will allow you to find chests a lot more easily as well. Another tip for this is basically look for the question marks on the map and just go to those areas. A lot of times you're going to find just abandoned areas that will have two or three chests that you can find a bunch of feltrite and a bunch of cash from. Now you're probably wondering how exactly do you get project points in Rage 2? All you need to do is just do activities for the NPCs. They'll actually tell you what activities they'll need you to do, such as killing sentries, etc. Now basically you earn XP by doing this, and once you level up to level 1, level 2, etc., they give you a project point. And if you really want a lot of project points, focus on the NPC that's at the lowest level. Tip number five, find all the arcs as soon as possible. Now there is actually one arc that you won't be able to get. It's kind of at the bottom of the map and is protected by the Shrouded, which are the strongest enemies in the game. And so you're probably going to have to wait a little bit on that one. But the other ones you should be able to get as you're moving along in the game. Now the reason this is important is because they contain the nanotrite abilities and also the weapons in the game. And Rage 2, especially on the higher difficulties like Hard, Nightmare, etc. is all about comboing your different weapons with your nanotrite abilities and also your overdrive. Now finding all the arcs is going to allow you to have more weapon variety, have more ammo because you have a limited ammo capacity for each weapon, and also, more importantly, is going to allow you to combo all those different weapons and abilities together to be able to defeat some of the stronger enemies. Now, you're probably wondering how exactly can I find all the arcs? 
you can actually do it the hard way by using focus. You'll see these pillars of light kind of coming up across the map and you can take the Phoenix over to them. Or you can go on YouTube and type in Rage 2 Arc locations and you'll get a map and it'll actually tell you where the arcs are and also what are in the arcs. It's up to you. Me personally, I kind of phoned them myself until I got bored of doing it and then I did finally use the map. Another tip here is that as you find more arcs, eventually, I'm not sure how many it is, maybe three or four of them, it actually awards you a flying vehicle called the Icarus, and this will allow you to get to the arcs more quickly. Another tip with this is pay attention to the difficulty of the arcs, especially at the beginning, because some of those enemies, especially when you first start, are going to be pretty much near impossible to kill. But the nice thing is once you find them, you can go back to them anytime. Tip number six, upgrade your health infusion and wing sticks. So buying the health infusion and wing stick schematics are going to allow you to craft them anytime you need them and they'll also become more effective. Now a tip with this is you can also increase your carrying capacity by upgrading certain project skills. Another tip for maximizing your health is that you can upgrade your overdrive's nanotrite ability which will allow you to regenerate health during combat Actually, in the latest DLC, The Rise of the Ghost expansion, they added the ability to suspend your overdrive at any time you want to, which allows you to conserve some of it. So if you run out of enemies, you know, you can have some for later. <laughs> Rage 2 tip number 7, max upgrade your key weapons first. So your shotgun, your rocket launcher, and your assault rifle. Doing this will allow you to take down enemies faster, take down stronger enemies, which will allow you to maximize your overdrive damage. Now you're probably wondering at this point, where exactly do you get the shotgun and the rocket launcher? You actually will find the shotgun as you're going along in the story. It's pretty early on. And again, you can go on Google and search Rage 2 Arc locations, and you'll find a picture of the map where you can find the rocket launcher arc. Now a tip for the rocket launcher is combo it with overdrive. So for example, you're doing a mission where you have to clear out a crusher nest. Basically just save up your overdrive till you get down to the crusher and hit your overdrive and just unleash your rocket launcher. You'll just annihilate them. Tip number eight, and this is for your nanotrite abilities, upgrade your recharge rate first. So basically upgrade all the recharge rates for all your nanotrite abilities before increasing their damage, which will allow you to combo your abilities much more easily. Now you're probably wondering what are some nanotrite combinations I might want to try. I like to use Vortex plus Slam, Shatter plus Slam, also Barrier plus Shatter or Slam also works really well. Tip number nine, learn to combo your weapons, your nanotrite abilities, and your overdrive. And this actually feeds into the combat loop of Rage 2, where basically you're blowing stuff up, which fills up your overdrive, which allows you to blow up more stuff faster, which allows you to regenerate your health, and it's just a giant loop. And the better you get at this, the higher difficulties you can play on. So you're probably wondering what are some combinations you might want to try. One thing I like to do, especially early on in the game, is I like to throw a wing stick when I'm reloading. So basically I keep my overdrive continually charging. I also like the barrier ability plus shotgun and you can actually throw grenades and wing sticks through your barrier, which is a bonus. Another combination I like is Vortex plus the rocket launcher. Rage 2 tip number 10, and this is if you really like Rage 2, you're really enjoying the game, I recommend maxing out your attributes at the Wellspring Doctor. Now this will actually increase your base health by 50%, your base damage by 50%, and you can also increase your overdrive length. Now you might be wondering where exactly can you get the different crafting materials. The easiest way is actually you can buy a certain amount of quantities from different merchants. You can also get them as random rewards from arc chests, which you can find in the open world. Or you can do the specific activities. So with sentries, I believe you get arc tech. By defeating crusher nests, you get the glands, etc. 